So we're familiar with the practice Hamsa, right? That's the natural breath meditation that um, we've done together. And we know that it means I am that. But this is a mantra that often gets sort of overlooked in the sense of what does that mean? <laughs> right? I am that. And um, I think it's pretty clear, like, okay, it's referring to, like, I am, and we usually translate it really simply and say, I am that, meaning divine consciousness, or Shiva, or pure awareness. And that's true. But what we don't realize is that this I am that kind of essence behind the mantra is something that you actually have to really earn through your practice because the mind is constantly narrowing its focus throughout the day on on all of these little objects all of these little that's and we constantly get sort of sucked into our mind and sucked into our external world and we actually associate more with all the little that's that surround us than this bigger that which we really are and so the practice of meditation is literally the practice of pulling our awareness out of the small objects and pulling it back into this biggest possibility, biggest potential, which we truly are. And so a really simple like metaphor example that you can participate in just in this very moment is um, the image of you, per, like if you were to open up your FaceTime app or if you were to bring out your phone and put it on a selfie mode um, or just the screen that you're watching this on. Um, if you look at the image of yourself or if you look at this screen that you're watching this on, you'll feel <clears throat> how your mind gets totally, the world, your world is, is just as big as the screen that you're watching this on. And you're just like, oh yeah, I mean, right, all this stuff is taking place on the screen. Why would I zoom out? Well, let's try it. Just take a moment, see the screen that you're watching this on, or see the screen even of yourself on that screen, and zoom out a little bit and try to see the space around the screen. It's actually challenging. The mind sort of can do it for a moment and then it whoosh, locks back in on the small screen. But try it again. And this time I want you to use your breath. And so inhale and zoom out. Exhale and try to just hold your focus wide. And now you keep doing that. Inhale is the moment of zooming out, seeing the space around the screen. Exhale, relax, and just hold that focus wide. So this is you pulling your focus out of the small vat, the small object, and really expanding your awareness to encompass a bigger potential of what you are. And we're going to move right into our practice from here and so hopefully you're in a seated position that's conducive for it. We'll leave our eyes open for this one. You don't have to look down at the screen. You know you can gaze up a little bit. Soften your gaze if possible. Uh, just a gentle sort of Gaussian blur over the whole scene can help you sort of detach a little but you don't have to. Swallow to release any tension in the throat. Relax the forehead, even though the eyes are open. And I often like to start this practice with a slight smile. And it's really because that slight smile sort of helps you feel where your awareness really is, like in your heart helps you detach from all these promises of happiness that surround us.
and then we just gently lengthen our breath flow. Nothing extreme, of course, just a little bit longer than normal, just a little bit slower than normal, and it helps us keep our focus. And just try to connect with <coughs> the entirety of your breath, the, the whole length of your inhale, that moment of pause, and then the whole length of your exhale. Keep pulling your focus back to this simple practice of gently lengthening our breath. Maybe you notice a little bit of stiffness in the back or the neck or the shoulders and just for these first few minutes, you know, allow yourself to Gently move if there's any tightness somewhere. And then settle back in. So with our eyes open, even though they're soft focused, there's a tendency for them to always lock on to an object of some kind. That's totally natural. But I want you to just try to use that inhale to zoom out and to see a bigger expanse of the space you're in. And with each exhale, you just try and rest in that bigger space. Occasionally swallowing to release any tension in the throat allows the breath to make its way to your heart. Because as you're zooming out on the world, you're actually zooming in on your heart. You can feel it as you breathe in and you zoom out to see that space. Your awareness is drawn towards your heart. The same moment. as you slowly exhale whenever you get to it and you sort of rest your awareness in that wider space of focus you might also feel that you're resting your awareness and feeling in your heart For the first, first few repetitions of the mantra, we're actually going to use the English translation. And you'll be silently repeating this internally. But as you inhale and you zoom out, you can repeat, I am. And as you exhale, you try to feel the widest version of yourself and you say, that silently. I am as you inhale and then feeling this greater potential that really surrounds you that's wide that.
And as you develop that connection to the to the meaning, to the potential of this mantra, you can start to replace the English with the Sanskrit. Hum as you inhale. Sa as you exhale. But trying to feel the meaning within it. No matter what thoughts or sensations arise, you have the ability to zoom out with your mantra, your breath, and your heart, and to zoom out and to become bigger than them. That is the practice that leads you to the experience you're seeking. You just have to apply it. Occasionally coming back to the literal aspects of this practice, swallowing, lengthening the breath, zooming out, seeing the edges of your vision, the whole screen of your awareness, repeating, I am and then feeling the potential of that. And eventually your mantra, 
हम सा Try to feel this subtle potential in every breath. Let your awareness sink down into the heart. And feel that connection between the heart 
in this wide angle of reality. And for the last minute of our practice, allow your eyes to close. And continue to feel this connection between the heart inside, this single point that yields this more expansive view Namaste.